Hello everyone, this is Anaway Joe here. We're playing a Vorion. This is online campaign video 23. So, as you can see, I have upgraded and added some more weapons, some Gravitron, salvage lasers, and various things on the partnership. I uh, found out Gra Gravitrons aren't as strong as I thought they would be. Um, testing it out. I also uh, played with that uh, other player to fight in combat with him on his own station. Uh, I was filming it, but it turned out to be basically bunch of <laughs> a bunch of us just beating on each other and we couldn't kill each other's uh ships uh i actually jumped into a rift with the group uh and i nearly killed them all because my ship's too laggy um so yeah i'm just basically setting up to uh hopefully the world guardian boss is in the center area and we're going to attack it and uh this fight granted I'm gonna try to fight this group real quick and uh, take it out there we go as you can see my repair fighters are up so the reason why I nearly killed everybody in the the center is because um, I caused a lot of lag and uh, I was on comms with them and there was <laughs> I got my son was jumping around and muted my mic and stuff and I couldn't hear him so I thought they were just playing the joke on the new guy but you know ended up that uh, I was playing a joke on myself but uh, the ship with other ships involved causes too much lag so that's definitely an issue so I'm gonna let my repairs f repair up here and then I'm going to jump into the the world boss. Oh, looks like they repaired it. I'm going to jump into the world boss fight. Uh, be right back. All right, so I'm in. Wow. Uh, my partnership already took the shields down. <laughs> that was just with the, the plasma uh, lasers, I guess. All right, so let's start opening fire and see what we can do. So this should go a little bit faster than my individual one. As you can see, it does cut my ship does cause a lot of lag. Um, a lot of people are saying it's the rockets that do it. Um, I haven't figured out how to get the <laughs> that guy just got in the wrong line of fight uh, fire there. Um, I haven't got the coaxials to actually work the way they're supposed to, so it's very unfortunate that. Uh, I couldn't figure that out fully with the angles. So I'm probably going to be using, like I said, uh, the rockets. But yeah, so I'm taking some damage from the fight. It looks like my repairs are helping repair up. Um, sliding the server. Um, so that's unfortunate too. But it's very effective. Um, maybe a pull in my fighters or something. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, looks like I am not in control right now. <laughs> um, oh, there we go. Yeah, this is just not a good ship for the server servers, I guess. So I'm not sure. Oh, it's doing so much damage; it's not fully registering all the damage it's hitting on the the World Guardian. <laughs> That's why it looks like it keeps yo-yoing its health back up, or it's getting repaired. Oh no, it blew up. Well. So I did be, was able to take out the World Guardian. Um, looked like I barely took any damage. 
So there we go. That pretty much uh, pretty good end to I think the that fight. And I believe um, looking at my Onaway Joe campaign, um, that one item we got gives a location to um, another boss. I believe. Maybe I'll go try that one out too. Let's see what we got in the mail. Okay. So let's see. Was it? Let's see what weapon I get? Coaxial Gravitron. Triple artillery. Whoop! Where did that go? Where did that uh? Or a night miner go. The P six six hundred jackhammer thing, huh? Diggy diggy hole. <laughs> efficiency ninety percent. DPS per slot. Damage range efficiency. No damage to shields. Break stone into ore. Okay, so it's um, it instantly turns um stone and uh ore and it's got hull penetration too too bad it's only t52 but it's a specialty type weapon so you couldn't probably build the blueprint on it anyways and this thing so i'm not sure what this actually does let's use it and see what's finds out so that pops up a location zero negative 135 okay so I'm going to fly over there and see what it's like. Be right back. All right. So it looks like some kind of super AI. It looks like non exo 10 detected commence attack. Rerouting power from shields to weapons. All right. So what is this thing? This might blow me up. Now well, let's see if we back up a little bit. Actually, I don't think this is going to be able to blow me up either. <laughs> but this thing is big. It's like a super AI thing. Yeah, it is. Cool. Um, one thing, um, I believe that I'm going to be probably switching up games, actually. Um... One reason why it occurred to me that I'm causing too much trouble onto the server with my lag. Two, um, I think some people um, don't believe my methods of the way I play the game, like how I trade, get gold and stuff. They say that's glitching. Um, they're also saying that uh, basically the my my ship is a glitch this is a glitch um so it's just kind of like i think then um i'm kind of more or less over the like i really wanted to play on the server and pvp but you know it's really difficult to pvp that also showed with the dueling out in that other um station other people are finding s some interesting ways of doing stuff. Uh, the rift looks pretty interesting, but again, like, I pretty much don't take any damage anymore. <laughs> my, my ship is pretty uh, invincible. Um, yeah, this is like a super big AI. This is really neat taking it out. So I think I'm going to switch up games. Um, I might lose some of you guys that are subscribing. Um, I understand, but I think I'm going to switch up and I'm going to play some a game called uh, Seven Days to Die um, as different content. Um, and just go from there. Also, I'm looking for some other new maybe games to play too. If you guys would like, uh, I'm going to put up in my community page uh, a message basically saying and replying of any games you would like to see me play and uh, do various things like I did in Avorion. I still have ideas to play in Avorion and things to build that I would like to do but to be honest um, 
not everyone is in favor and um, it seems like people think I'm cheating so which is fine everyone has their own opinions about it um, and their own thought processes but ultimately um, it's really going to be hard for me playing on the rusty server if I'm going to be lagging everyone out especially if I'm going to be using this this big guy um, I was also thinking about well I can mill, make a smaller version of it like a and stuff but once you kind of flat like I kind of fly this giant thing around you know like everything else kind of looks kind of small and it just doesn't have the on away Joe killer touch in my opinion so you know worked really hard building these ships and designing them but you know it's just it is what it is and I think I've been filming for almost a year I think changing up the game might be uh, something interesting that maybe some of you might follow or some of you uh, might pick up some new subscribers but I will keep my channel open and I'll just make another playlist for that as well for anyone's viewing pleasure that would like to follow that and like I said, I will be posting in the community and see what you guys all think as well. And by all means, in the, of course, in the, as you can see, it was lagging again. Uh, in the comments below, too, you guys can put in here what you guys think about switching up in the games play to a different game down below. Or if you guys have a suggestion for me to, that you would like to see me play you can um, do that as well in the below comments I would really appreciate it but yeah this thing is a uh, pretty hardy but I am believing it's kind of like the game is still a little bit lagging out um, they're definitely shooting quite a bit of torpedoes at me but the point defenses are definitely taking it out I choose to play and finish this up uh, right now because it didn't look like there was many people on the US server on Rusty so I, I shouldn't be affecting too many other players if you are watching and you are affected by this sorry this is probably why you uh, are getting that lag right now but yeah I think this was definitely a fun game to play it was a good run I think a lot of you guys have a lot of cool ideas hopefully that have been watching and enjoying it uh, to how to play the game differently than other people different concepts um, trading economy how to make it work you know it's just it works oh man this thing is getting just torn to pieces and like they're definitely shooting at me it's just they couldn't do enough damage you know like I remember the other people were talking about like well when are, when are you gonna drop your station and I'm like this is the way I play <laughs> I made the ship make sure that I can hang on to it and they're like well you're not using the full firepower which is true I could be technically build a ship that would support itself in the center right but then turn around and uh, drop off the station then have more weapons equipped and they would automatically start using and activate but that's just not my way i wanted to play so and i'm just thinking to myself like imagine if i had like three or four of these running around i i don't think anyone would be able to play on the server either so it's just i think this was a great uh build and stuff but it's <laughs> like I don't know I've never fought this boss before but it definitely looked like it was menacing if you didn't uh, have too bad of defenses I guess but I got those laser the plasma lasers firing away I have gravity trons holding things into place I have my primary weaponry rocket launchers firing off I mean this is a pretty long fight too like 
but I think most of it and the reason why it's still so long is just the fact that there's so there's quite a bit of lag so I'm kind of like burst shotting my uh, my primary weapons right now yeah it's definitely sh like keeping these little pieces down to no speed so they're the gravitrons that are locking onto them so it's just when i was using them against some other bigger ships they were uh, they still had too much thrust and power to get moving so it kind of made them feel like they were insignificant for what i was trying to do yep almost got it wow <laughs> oh that looks like st still one of the last bigger pieces right there looks like two of the, two pieces left are big let's focus on this one because it looks like that's what my partnership is doing all right that chunk is down looks like one more bigger chunk here This is a neat fight. That's definitely... They shot a lot of torpedoes at me, that's for sure, though. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember any... Uh, any computer player shooting as much torpedoes as this, this one. But, you know... It definitely... Uh, didn't work. Whoa! Okay. What is that? Milestone unlock. Destiny corrupt version of the AI. Oh, so that's like the AI that got taken over by destroy the corrupted version of the AI. Oh, okay. So it's the AI that was probably taken over by the the aliens, huh? Alright. That's fairly nifty. That's why it's so bigger, I guess. So that was a pretty neat boss fight. Um, I guess I'll soak up all the stuff and uh, see uh, what we get. And there's a couple purples over here. Um, again, I never fought this, so I'm wondering if we get some more uh, an another item to fight another boss or something might be interesting. Um, let's see. But yeah, that's a lot. This is a Vorion too, or Organite. And this is pretty neat. Well, let's see what we get. We got. Looks like a uh, plasma weapon. Pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty neat, but I don't think I got any new... Uh, items i didn't get any new mail so yeah i think that's gonna pretty much end it for me uh for the avorian uh, runs in the end uh, i know that you might be subscribing here or or would want to subscribe to watch uh avorian videos but i'm probably going to be ending um uh, playing avorian after this uh, and, you know, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I would still appreciate it really much. It does help my channel grow. Um, if you are leaving, um, you know, if you're going to unsubscribe, I would appreciate it if you don't mind putting in comments below why you're leaving. But I understand uh, if you're leaving either way. If you're going to continue supporting me, I really appreciate you following as well. And again, if you like, put some comments in below what you would like to see or uh, pl play, uh, what games you would like me to see and play. In the end, have a great day, and thank you for your support. Thank you for watching.